Go grab him! Okay, you know the plan. We go around. You go on that side, I go on this side. Okay, let's go for it. One, two, three. Let's go. Freeze! Oh, oh dang it! <laughs> 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 Give me the codes or I kill your friend. Look at me! Oh. Go ahead. Shoot. Oh my god! I thought you were bluffing! At 17 years old, my brother and I tried to make a backyard action movie. Imagine James Bond and Goldeneye crossed with You Only Live Twice, except the movie sucks. If you haven't seen the original version of the movie yet, the link will be right here or in the description below. Now you're probably wondering, what's it about? Yeah, I don't know either. The plot to this movie is so confusing, I can only tell you what we tried to do before we messed it up. Like, like they're, like, like in Star Wars, except backwards. In the original version, Special Agent 0013 of the Mexican Secret Service tries to stop terrorists from detonating every volcano in the Pacific Ocean, also known as the Ring of Fire. Once I realized I didn't know how to show that type of threat on screen, we changed it to trying to stop World War III from happening with flying saucers. Yeah, I should have gone with the first story. <laughs> you are, are you happy with your long distance service? Look at me! Oh, you can't leave! These bullets are making me thirsty! <laughs> The key to any successful feature-length film goes back to planning and pre-production. Yeah, I didn't learn that until after I finished the movie. F. Hola. In the beginning, most of what we shot was barely discussed the night before, or even written down. But as time went on, I realized I needed to get more organized. Sean and I had the understanding that I would act and write the script while he would man camera and edit the film. Those roles obviously changed towards the end of shooting. Wait, what are we doing? What are you doing, John? Oh. Cut! <laughs> <laughs> we started production back in the summer of 2007. We called our production company Piglet Productions. Yes, I know it sounds stupid. I was a teenager, all right? <laughs> What made the project official, in my opinion, was when Sean, Lucas, and my Aunt Bonnie edited the first trailer of the movie. The trailer came out on August 7th, 2007, to YouTube. This trailer was to establish two things. One, get the word out that we were shooting an action movie. Two, be a casting call for more actors. I mean, my cousin Lucas couldn't play every single part in the movie, Let's right? Go. I wouldn't care if you're the greatest agent in Canada. Beethoven next 90, same Beethoven. issue. I drink what I want. Just lit and let die. Madness. Es ist Mexico. I remember seeking a few of my peers who were my age group to be in the movie, but I had just graduated from high school at the time and no one was available because they were leaving for college and I was staying in Virginia. So I decided to recruit the rest of my cousins, siblings, and my brother's friends from church. My cousin, Lucas, was really my first dedicated actor in all of this. He played Special Agent Goose and MI-12 Director F. Whenever we needed someone to play a major or minor part, we'd call him first. Lucas was a good physical actor. He was great at improv and performing minor stunts. Luigi, no! His problem was that he would look at the script too much while on camera. This was my fault, obviously. I gave him too much dialogue to work with. By the way, the character Mario wasn't even in the script. Neither was Luigi. Lucas just showed up and insisted he would play the popular Nintendo character and got my cousin Travis to play along. 
Luckily, it did pay off. Brendan's beat! We're coming! Ah! Next in line of dedicated actors were Ben, John, Clint, and Max. I was really excited to get Ben back to play another villain. I always loved the energy he gave to his roles. His impressions were hilarious, and we would always crack up on camera whenever he switched accents. Man, man, uh, at one time, I dreamt of an inflatable duck. <laughs> John ended up playing a couple of minor parts until I decided to have him play the corrupt Prime Minister Ronaldo. He was another one who would hilariously go over the top, especially during his monologue scenes. Clint and Max surprised me. The level of dedication they had to their roles, from costume design to comedic timing, was gold. Clint got to play the tech scientist and communication expert X. Max got to play three of the funniest minor characters in the movie. He was the screeching assassin Shriek, the tragic hero Rudolfo, but my all-time favorite was when he played a body double for Lucas. In the movie, most of my family members played as extras or had a minor roles, be it as an assassin or Mexican agent. I casted Jazz as the news anchor for the media segments. I have fond memories acting in your acting in the movie. I, I think I feel fond now. When I was a child, I was very angry. I very much wanted to be in your film. It right. would not let me. So I, I just went, that's fine. I'll just put myself in there. This is a jazz scene now. Right. Are you old? Dad, I stop hitting me so hard. I, okay, in my defense, I was not hitting him that hard. I, because I, I was acting, okay? And we were in a battle. And I had swords. And we were like, Getting into this scene, okay? You had one dedicated actor and it was me. <laughs> anyway, you got, it's at the beginning of the film when you're talking to Sean at the King and I hit my yes. head and I say, ow. Did you say look close? Yes, that's what I said. So did it explode when you kiss it? Yes. I remember crossing under that bar and like light myself, but going, I'm going to ruin the shot. Like on purpose. On purpose. I'm going to ruin the shot. So I said, ow, as possible. Sean isn't in the movie much, but you can hear him laugh on camera whenever anything ridiculous happens. Ronaldo, my friend, uh, if you ever need to skin a goat, you got to use a cheese grater. What? That's impossible! That's what they said to me, I did. Are you serious? Dude. I thought you were bluffing! <laughs> he also played the traitorous double agent 00014 with a weird accent. My acting, um, we're not going to talk about that. Hey everyone, the re-edit is going well. Here is a re-edited clip that I've been working on. Tell me what you think. Ugh. MI-12, I need seven desperados to blow up this facility. I have everything I need. See ya. Again, if you don't like the direction that I'm going with this, please say so in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. And if you want to watch the original film, you can watch it right here. It's the Princess Peach! Lucas! <laughs> it's the Princess Peach! <laughs> Four fives! It's the Princess... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I, I was born in the different... Look at it! Near the Gaspian Sea! Look at it!